Bunch of Crush Army, where you at? Your motivation guy is back. Your friend, the one and only Kate Allen, bring you guys the latest and greatest tips and tricks to make you guys the best Fortnite player you could possibly be. And oh yeah, the best person you could possibly be because I want you to think positive about yourself and not negatively. Stop putting yourself down because I know we could be our hardest critic, but keep going, man. The sky is not even the limit for you. You know, today we have some secrets to really land for you guys. All right, these are great for Arena and it's going to give you guys a leg up on your opponents. They are also great for when you don't want to deal with too many opponents like right off the bat. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's get down to it. So get your maps ready and start writing these down, all right? But before we do that, get my favorite candy. What is that, y'all? It's that bunch of crunch and let's get this going. All right, so if you open your map right now, then look towards the right of the Daily Bugle. There you're going to find an island not too far from the mainland towards the edge of the map. This is our first stop on our list of secret POIs. And if you're looking for somewhere less contested, then you've come to the right place. This particular POI is known as Cuddle Cruisers. And here, you're going to find plenty of items, most of which will spawn within the building itself. Due to its proximity towards the edge of the map, this POI usually gives you guys the opportunity to loot chests without interference. It's size enough chests to fill up your inventory. You're also going to find non-boxes in the kitchen, which can provide healing and buff items such as the mushrooms, coconuts, and the peppers. All right, so what makes this POI even more interesting is that it's an island. Therefore, you're going to find plenty of fishing spots to take advantage of. If you guys are looking for a way to start rotating for eliminations or you just want to leave the safety of, you know, the POI, then don't worry. This location has you covered. If you drop down from the building above you, you can also find yourself near a boat. This boat can be used to rotate out of the back into the heat of everything. So, you know, you don't need to really worry about just getting stuck trying to swim out there, right? While you're there, a cooler should be available to where you can pick up some chug splats or fizzle juice on your way out. Let me say this, man. If you guys are planning on rotating out of the comfort of a less populated POI, then you should take a moment to train your aim. Click on the link below and check out Aim Lab. All right, so this free program gives you guys all the feedback that you need to track your progress in a variety of aim-oriented exercise routines. This way, you're going to watch as your aiming skills improve in a variety of games such as Valorant, Warzone, and yours truly, Fortnite. Are you a Coney Crossroads fan? Well, if you want to be close to the action but don't want to fight off spawn, then we have a POI with a perfect view of the town. You're going to find this POI to the right of Coney Crossroads. This building is on a hill, giving it a nice elevation, which can be good for sniping or keeping track of surrounding areas. If you land here, and I mean like right here, you can get a perfect view of the other players as they glide on down. This is good natural for elevation, so you know you can just stay hidden and just keep the high ground instead of building a tower for the same purpose that may give away your position. Aside from chests, this area also has non-boxes scattered around as well as nearby chug barrels so you can use to really top off that shield. If the space hasn't been looted, you're going to find chug barrels on the first floor of the building as well as on the basement level. Alright, just make sure to farm materials on your way down as well as the ammo boxes, alright? This POI is also fairly close to the center of the map, making it easier for it to be within the first storm circle. And so with this in mind, guys, it should help you just keep up with the storm as opposed to landing too far away in hopes of getting an uncontested drop spot. Now, if you like how the previous POI was close to the more populated areas, then you're in luck because this next POI has the same benefits, but in some cases, it can actually be even better. Once you deploy, start heading towards Shifty Shafts and Log Jam Lumber Mill. Start searching for a mountain top between these POIs and you're going to see two chests right for the picking. These two chests, I'm telling you, either they have their elevation on the map. It makes it really easy to land first, but get equipped first. Meanwhile, other players who came in too late will have to settle with those extra few seconds of just gliding in order to get their own loot. There also are two rock formations here that you can farm for a decent amount of starting mats. Once you've collected those two chests, you should have a pretty good view of shifty shafts. You're also going to be close enough to log jam lumber mill, which makes it a good rotation point once you're all geared up. And so having this many choices on where to go next can add flexibility to your in-game plan. If you guys really want to know what this POI has hidden, then you aren't going to be looking at the surface. You're going to want to go beneath the surface into the mine shaft. There you're going to just need to follow the path and you're going to come across an abundance of chest spawns and stone. If you want to, you can choose to go down to the lumber mill so you can easily max out your wood. Alright, so what makes this POI loot route so good is how linear it is. While an open area might be effective for you avoiding enemies, the same can be said about this tunnel like path. There's very limited spaces where enemies can pop out from just making it easier to keep an eye on control opponents that show up. So, if you want to secure your dominance of this space, then you you should carry weapons such as the SMG or the shotgun to keep them at bay. 
Chunker Speedway is one of the main POI of Chapter 3. However, despite being on the map, there are some very cool secrets that you should be aware of, and they are ones that make it one of the most perfect landing spots of Chapter 3. The desert is a vast space of rock where the sun blazes through the rest of the snowy island. So, of course, this would be the area where you're going to find the most coolers, right? Inside, you're going to find such items as the Chug Splash and the Fizzle Juice, which are great for getting your health and shields up. If you look at the details, there are about 18 coolers to loot at Chunker Speedway, which makes it a very good place to completely max out your Chug Splash. Chunker Speedway is also a great place to get a vehicle. In fact, you won't even need to get the all-terrain tires yourself since often you're going to find these already just set up on the runway. There are plenty of vehicles to go around, so don't worry, guys, about the other players just stealing a ride out of town. So even if you're just passing through on your way closer to the storm circle, you're almost going to always be able to nab a vehicle for rotation here. This area has an abundance of steel as well. So if you want to stock up on this hard to find material, then this is the place to do it quickly. And so once you're done, you should have enough inventory to get you through even the nastiest of build battles and box fights. All right, so the gas station near Rocky Wheels is another good POI with a good surrounding area. Like if you land at the gas station, you get access to vehicles, non-boxes as well as a chance to get tires. Don't forget to visit the coffee shop next to get some ammo boxes and uh, non-boxes and slurp barrels that are in the utility closet. And soon, you're going to be ready to start rotating, but first, there is a spot not too far away from this drop that you definitely got to visit. Alright, so once you've acquired a vehicle at the gas station, you can head further north and you're going to find a house. Next to it is a lake where you can fish for floppers. Make sure to destroy the barrel for a chance at getting the harpoon, alright? This area also has an abundance of rocks, so just be sure to stock up. Alright, so if you're coming in from the southern area of the map, this is also a good place to stop by to refuel if you need to, but also to spend your gold bars on the upgrade bench and vending machine. In the end, this is a great place just to really pass by on your way to the storm circle or simply to start off in. So while you may have to fight off a few players, it's not nearly as congested as some of the other spots on the map, and that can be good for getting a few early eliminations. All right, so in the top left corner of the map is seven outposts. All right, you may be asking, with so many outposts scattered around the island, like what makes this one so special? Good question. Well, aside from being further away from the most desirable locations, it has a few benefits to it that you might not be aware of just yet. There are plenty of floor loot at the outpost that can help you gear up right away. However, if you're looking for better items that's going to last longer, then look no further than the underground vault. You're going to need a chicken or a down NPC to access it, but once you do, you're going to be able to loot the chest within and get some pretty sick loot. There are also two Spider-Man mythic spawn on the nearby bridge, which you can help, you know, just get around the map easier. I love that. And if you want a Spider-Man mythic even closer to the seven base, then there is also one by the side of the mountain directly to the left of the map. All right, so before we wrap things up today, don't forget to check out Aim Lab so you can use your best weapons to your fullest potential. Don't get caught up missing your shots, man. Become a master sharpshooter within Aim Lab. But you're going to that's going to be it for today's video. It's your friend, the one and only Keith Allen. Make sure to stay grinding, never quit your dream, keep going, no matter, you know, what doubts you may be facing. Hey, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and spread the word to all your friends that Pro Guides is coming back fuller, better than ever. Hey, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.